While we talk about cymbals, drums, drum heads quite often, it's about time we once again talk about sticks. Drumsticks are the direct link of a drummer to the instrument. So, the stick is what you feel in your hands, how you hit the instrument, what you play with. That's what you have in your hand all the time. No matter if you're at home playing on a pad, if you're out playing your own drum kit, playing a different drum kit, um, the one thing that remains is your sticks. So that's a very, very important part of your equipment. And while drummers really like to change around cymbals for different sounds, they like to use different tunings, um, maybe use a different snare drum, change the kick drum size from time to time, the tom sizes from time to time. Maybe also you might get a different drum kit at a certain point. Drumsticks for many drummers are what stays the same throughout like most of the career. So for example, maybe you start with a 5A drumstick and you just stay there. And that's maybe because they just feel familiar and they work very well for you. You've trained all your technique with this pair of sticks. So this is what a paradiddle, for example, feels like for you because that's just the feeling you have in your hand. But maybe I think for a lot of drummers it's also because they've never really experimented with different drumstick models or maybe also the knowledge. Um, there's so much to know about drumsticks that many of us drummers, me included, for a long time I had no idea of different drumstick models. So this video is here to clear up some of the, the big questions uh, regarding drumsticks, to give you an idea of what the certain things on drumsticks really change and also help you maybe find out what drumstick models there are that you might want to look into. The first thing to look at are the model names. And with Promark, for example, it's easy. Um, they have the, the four main important or the most common uh, drumstick models. It's 5A, 5B, 7A and 2B. What's it mean? Uh, pretty simple, um, small number, for example, 2B drumstick is pretty heavy and thick. And if you compare it to, oh, here's a 7A, larger number, thinner drumstick. So if you just have them right next to each other, you can really see the one on top. Let me just turn them so you can see the model names. Yes. it's a 2B here and a 7A down there. And now the effect this has is pretty obvious. A thinner drumstick is better for, it, it feels lighter in your hand, so you don't need that much uh, power to move it. It's more relaxed for low volume playing, for example. It's just a better drumstick, so 7As you'll mainly find with younger players. Um, because they're just thinner for smaller hands, that's also a factor, and um, also with, with jazz players. 2B is more of a rock drumstick, very durable, so if you're a hard hitter, get a bigger drumstick because they'll just last longer. Um, but for low volume playing, it's not really my thing because it's just a very thick drumstick. 5A and 5B, the two most common drumstick models. And this is maybe because it's right in the middle between the very thin 7As and the pretty thick 2Bs. So those are like multi-purpose drumsticks. And they also, if I got them in my hands, they don't feel too thick, they don't feel too thin. It's just a great in-between solution. And I mean, those are the most common drum uh, drumstick models for a reason, because most drummers like them and they just feel good in an average sized hand. Here's the direct comparison between the 7A and the 2B and the differences there are, you'll find the same thing with the 5A and 5B, but it's not that obvious. So 
Let's check out the very different Model 7 a and This for sure is the difference you can hear, and um, but the change of the feeling here, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I need so much more energy to play the 2Bs than the 7As. Um, for me, 5A or 5B is a very good starting point. Uh, if you're not sure what your drum uh, drumstick model is, start somewhere in the middle, and if you have the feeling, I want something more heavy, Go this way if you have the feeling I need something a little lighter this way. Now if you look closely you might have noticed that there's not just a 5A on the drumstick but it says 5A forward. Now what does this forward thingy mean? It's a Promark thing and they have 5A forward and rebound drumsticks. To understand what forward and rebound stands for you need to, uh, you need to understand the basic anatomy of a drumstick. And basically, there's three parts that are important. First part is the shaft or the body of the drumstick. It's like this part where the, the stick has the same diameter all the way through. Then you got the shoulder. It's like the spot where the, where the drumstick starts to get thinner. And then you have the neck. That's the part where it gets thinner. And shoulder and neck combined are called the taper. So body, taper, and the tip. Now, we'll talk about different tip shapes and materials in just a second, but now let's focus on the taper because that's the decisive thing with rebound and forward. So let's get, get both next to each other. Make sure you can see what the forward and what the rebound is. We got more weight on the forward in front here and a thinner stick in front a longer taper, longer taper, shorter taper with this one. If you have a bottom heavy drumstick like the Rebound, you don't have to move that much weight in front here. So the stick will always come back to you because the weight is back here. If you want to bury the stick into the drum head and you need this extra weight to put into your hits, a top heavy drumstick is what you're looking for because the stick will just fall down while the rebound stick will always come back to you. So here we have four different tips and those are maybe also the most common ones. This one's called the acorn tip, an oval tip, oval it's a nylon tip this one and we have a round tip. Um, now those two sticks you've seen before, it's the 5A rebound and 5A forward. The nylon is forward as well, so it's the, basically the same stick just with a different tip. But the tip, especially on cymbals, that's a big difference for your sound. Um, and the round tip, that's an Finesse 718. It's like also the same thickness as the 5A, it's a, a tiny bit longer, but once again, the tip is a huge difference here because it just sounds very different on cymbals. And before I go on talking, let me just play all four on the ride and you'll really hear how this changes the sound. As you've heard, the acorn tip and the oval tip, or also you might often find teardrop tips that are kind of a little in between, um, the sound difference is not that big. And that's because the spot where you're playing has kind of the same shape. It's also more in the, the oval side that, than as on the oval side, not on the round side. Um, 
drastic difference is the nylon tip and also is a very very different playing field because the tip, the plastic tip, the nylon tip is harder and this also changes um, how the stick reacts to the hits, how the, the hit is, is, is running through the drumstick into your hands. So it's a different feel but it's, um, I'd say it's a more attacky attack, uh, so to say. So if you want a very cutting uh, right sound, if you really want to have it clear, this might be an idea for you. So if, for example, let's say you're playing big band music and you need the right to really cut through everything else, and you have the feeling that wooden tips don't really give you that little extra attack and shininess, maybe check out nylon tips. If you're um, playing very delicate things, low volume, you really want the, the cymbals to come through even if you're touching them just barely. This tip shape gives you what you need, but be careful. Round tips, since your power is distributed in a very small part of this small round tip, if you hit toms for example, the chance of getting dents into your drum heads is higher with small round heads than with oval ones that just distribute the power on a little wider part of the tip. The wood type obviously has an influence on how the stick feels and also how it sounds. Um, so here's the four wood types Promark offers and thus are also maybe the most common ones. The most common one, and that's what we've seen up to this point, is hickory. If you go to a store and you buy a 5A drumstick, chances that you're buying a hickory drumstick are above 90%. It's a, a, the, the hickory, I think, is like a very good in-between solution between a wood type that's solid enough that it really can take your beating and it's still light enough so you can play with it and it's not, you don't feel like you have a whole tree in your hand. Um, now, Promark just came up with the fire grain thing. They, if you go to the website and you go for the wood types area, you have those four wood types, so they listed as a different wood type. But what fire grain is, it's a heat tempering of hickory. So it's still hickory wood, but with this, it looks like a different finish. It actually feels basically close to the same to the usual hickory stick, but it's more durable, they say. Another wood type that's very common for drumsticks is maple. And maple on the other side is once again Finesse 5A. We have a round tip and most of the maple sticks out there have round tips. Why is that? Because the wood is lighter and it enables softer playing, more precise playing. Um, so once again, just as with the round tips before, this stick is made <laughs> not for heavy hitting, but for delicate playing, for soft playing. So, if you want a lighter feel, maple. If you want a heavier feel, however, oh, and this is really, oh, it, is, it really feels a lot more heavy than all the other three. That's an oak stick, the Attack 5A. Why Attack? Because if you have more weight, you can bury into the drum head with the same motion, you just get a heavier stroke. So right here, once again, five different versions of 5A drumsticks and basically except the fire grain one which is the same we had before, it's the forward 5A. 
All other four sticks are rebound 5A. So length, diameter, tip shape, taper, all the same. The only thing that's different is the finish. And the usual finish for drumsticks is a lacquer. It's just like the rebound 5A, the forward 5A, the, the usual drumsticks. It's just this wood look. Um, and the lacquer they use for most players, it works very well when it comes to the right amount of grip. I mean, you don't want a stick that slips out of your hand with every stroke. And you also don't want a stick that it's kind of glued to your hand so that it does not move. Um, this works well for most players, but there are players that don't like the feel of this stick. And for those, here are some options. First up, that's um, just the color version of, of the stick. So you can get those in all sorts of different colors. Black, white, orange, pink, red, blue. Next up is what they call the active grip. And there's some companies out there, some, some drumstick companies that, that offer some, um, some sticks with, with a coating that they say has an increased grip. And it really feels, yeah, it's, it's sticky. And as you might know, there are drummers out there just like, they sweat like hell, there are others that don't. There's people that sweat on their hands, others don't. So you need to find the stick model and the finish that works best for you. Another solution might also be the raw version. And this is just, compared to, to the Rebound 5A, there's no finish at all, no lacquer. You really feel the wood, where you have a lacquer here that will keep your sweat from getting too much into the wood. This will happen here. Now this was a lot of talking in this video. And that's also important because most of the things about drumsticks you can't really hear. But you can feel it. And by changing your playing feel, drumsticks will also change how you sound because a heavier stick will make you hit harder, will be louder. A softer stick, maybe a um, bottom heavy stick, will make you play softer just because you need less energy to play the stick. So it's just gonna sound different, but it's not the stick. It's the effect the stick has on your playing. Maple sticks, for example, lighter sticks, you will play them differently. That's just fact. Now, to end up this video, post in the comments what drumstick model you're playing. Also, what stick models I left out that you think should be on here. What is the weirdest drumstick design that you have seen in the past? Also, if you want to support us, check out the donation link in the description if you liked the video. Also, subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more videos like this one on there about drum heads, about different drum sizes, cymbals, whatever. Go check those out. And yeah, I just hope to see you in one of the next videos and I hope this video helped you find your perfect drumstick model.